National Night Out is an annual event that occurs the first Tuesday of every August. It's a night that honors police officers. Joining us this morning to tell us all about it is Wayne. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I am well. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So talk to us about National Night Out and what's the mission behind it? National Night Out is a annual event that helps create bonds between the public and the police departments mm -hmm. with, of course, the ultimate goal of helping the public learn how to protect themselves from crime. Mm -hmm. So for people that's coming out, what can they expect? What they can expect is a wide variety of uh, booths, everything from dealing with mental health to uh, home safety. Mm -hmm. uh, at In Elkhart, we'll have over 2,000 hot dogs to give away, <laughs> snow cones, uh, popcorn, popcorn. <laughs> and water, uh, slides for the kids, uh, games from the parks department, and llamas and goats. Llamas and goats? Llamas and goats. Oh my awesome. goodness. So we have the llamas and goats, but I heard there's also going to be like the canine demonstrations. Canine demonstration will be at 630 and that'll be the conclusion of it. And they get to show off what their dogs can do. Part of it's also about showing the public what they're spending their money on mm -hmm. because it's their money that we're spending, obviously, to protect them. Yeah, and why would you say this event is so important, you know, for the community to come out? It gives us the opportunity and them the opportunity to ask pertinent questions of us in a non-confrontational manner yeah. where people are at ease, it's fun, they're getting fed, everything's free, so it's a lot more relaxing. Mm -hmm. And so with you being a part of this event, you know, what have you seen from the community, from people that's coming out? Uh, it's a great time for everybody. And they do start asking the personal questions, the pertinent questions. They start to get to know us. We get to start building those relationships with them. Mm -hmm. And so for someone who's maybe interested in becoming a police officer, you know, what words of advice do you have for them? Come out, meet with officers, talk to officers. Don't just look at what you see in movies and on TV and think that's what real police work is all about. It really is about helping others, helping others protect themselves. Mm -hmm. And within your role, you know, what have you learned? What have I learned? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've learned that, you know, it really doesn't matter what race, what sex, whatever. Mm -hmm. Everybody has people that love them. Everybody... Uh, has family and no one wants their family members yeah. to be hurt or victimized by crime. Mm -hmm. So this event gives us the opportunity to help all those not become those victims. Yeah. Now, is there anything that you would like to leave our viewers with just about this event in general? It's from uh, 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. It's in Central Green Space, downtown Elkhart. And that's done on purpose because it's the midway points, the gathering place mm -hmm. for the city of Elkhart. And once again, there'll be over 30 vendors there and the police department will be there, fire department, parks department. And it's all about creating an atmosphere that they can enjoy and come down and learn and take part in. Yeah. Well, Wayne, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. We're going to get this pulled up on the screen for the viewers. Thank you for having <laughs> us. For more information on the Elkhart Police Department, check out your screen. You can visit their website at elkhartpolice.org, or you can check them out on Twitter and Instagram.